Welcome to my introductory lecture on my online review course of an undergraduate probability and statistics class. I'm Chris Mack. I'm an adjunct associate professor at the University of Texas at Austin. And this online course is all about reviewing what you should have already learned if you've taken an undergraduate probability and statistics class. Note the website uh, listed on the bottom. It will have not only links to all of these lectures, but other materials, which I'll try to explain in a few minutes. So what is this uh, online review course on statistics? This course is a short review of an undergraduate probability and statistics course. Now, many departments will offer an undergraduate statistics class, but in this case, I'm going to assume that you took a class that includes a knowledge of calculus. Now, there's some undergraduate statistics classes that don't assume you have any calculus uh, background, and they skip some of the math that we're going to include in our review. So I'm going to assume that you've taken a calculus-based probability and statistics course. The purpose of this review is really to set you up so that you could be successful in some follow-on course. Maybe you're in graduate school now. Maybe you're uh, in need of a graduate level statistics class, such as the one that I teach at the University of Texas, and you need to review your undergraduate material to make sure you're prepared for that class. Well, that's what this review set of lectures is all about. What this course is not is a replacement for an undergraduate probability and statistics class. You cannot say, hey, I've never taken this undergraduate class, but I'll just work through the review and then I'll be prepared for a graduate level class or a more advanced probability and statistics class. Well, if you're an exceptional, exceptional student, maybe you can get away with that, but I think in general, no. I'm not going to cover all the material that you will find in an undergraduate statistics class. I will not be reviewing the material to sufficient depth so that if you've never seen it before you can grasp all of the concepts just by listening to these lectures. That's not what this is about. I'm going to assume that you've already had this stuff and you just need a refresher. You just need to remember some of the things that have uh, erased themselves from your memory or gotten so far back that you can't quite recall them without a little uh, prompting. So that's what this class is about. To prompt your memory, get back that information that you got when you took an undergraduate class. There's an online course website that has uh, not only links to all of these lectures, like this first introductory lecture, but also some supporting materials, homework problems, and a test practice pro uh, set of problems. If Essentially, I will have at the very end the equivalent of a final exam, which if you can take and pass that, it means you really have understood this material uh, for a second time. If you don't work through the homework problems and the practice problems for the test, you, know, you may think that you've really remembered the material without, without quite getting it. Uh, the proof is in actually being able to apply these concepts to reward problems. This course is equivalent to three weeks of a standard three credit hour full semester college course. Basically I teach a graduate level course and I've over the past several years uh, had to spend the first three weeks of that class reviewing undergraduate statistics for my students because they simply couldn't remember it without that review. So what I'm doing is taking that three weeks of, of review material and putting it in this online course so now my students and well maybe other students as well can get that review material without having to take three weeks uh, of, of a full semester class and devoting it just to review. What are we covering? Well, we're covering the basics, this, the most important topics in a full semester undergraduate probability and statistics class. These are the next 17 lectures. Um, descriptive statistics, we'll go very briefly into probability, talk about random variables, discrete and continuous, expectations and variances, sampling distributions. From there we'll get into the meat of statistics, how to generate confidence intervals for maybe 
uh, a measurement that you've made or a calculation uh, of a mean or some other um, statistic. Uh, hypothesis testing and making inferences. And finally, we'll end up with correlation and linear regression. Each one of these lectures will be in the 20 to 30 minute long time frame. So about two of these lectures is equivalent to one 50 minute lecture in a standard university course. Six lectures is about a week and 18 lectures including this introduction is about three weeks of a typical semester long class. It will be useful if you can follow along these topics by reading a textbook as you go. I don't have any specific textbook in mind. Uh, there's lots of textbooks. If you still have your undergraduate statistics test, well, by all means, just use that. Find the appropriate lecture, the chapters that go with the lectures and read the chapter as you're listening, either before or right after you listen to these lectures. There are many good texts. If you don't have your undergraduate text, you can probably find some used textbooks. Uh, here's a few that I have that I think are good. You don't need to buy the latest edition, you know, the one that cost $100. Uh, you can go back an edition or two and, and find a less expensive used one if you would like. Well, that's it for my intro. The next lecture, which I call Lecture 1, will begin with uh, the question, what is statistics? And we'll get very quickly into the meat of an undergraduate probability and statistics class. Thanks and see you then.